guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to organize some UAV imagery that was taken on a little sample transportation project of a rural road. So you can see I've added the ortho mosaic tiles for the road that we produce in Pix4D. I've got them here in Lizard Tech GeoViewer. GeoViewer is a, a pretty cool free uh, viewer design for for large image files <clears throat> so you can see I've got those ortho tiles loaded and I'll zoom in here and you can see uh, those are high resolution low low altitude orthos and uh, they look really they actually turned out really really good now there are a couple spots here where there's a little bit of distortion if you get down here on the end you can see right here, for example, in here, there's some distortion in the trees right here. Uh, but overall, I was really pleased uh, with the product that came out. It was a, it's a good product. So I just wanted to give you an idea. This is uh, Red Hills Road outside of Chinese Camp, California. It's about a half a mile of road. So that's what it looks like in GeoViewer, but that's not really what I wanted to show you. So what I'm going to show you is how to organize the uh, the actual raw images that came from that flight. And uh, one of the things I tell uh, surveyors and mapping folks a lot is that I think the oblique imagery is just as valuable as the orthos. You can't draw on the obliques like you can on the orthos, but the obliques are, are I think, a lot more useful for things like asset inventory and inspection. <laughs> So, uh, sorry for the sniffling. My allergies still bother me a little bit, even though it's June. So, I've got a folder here with the raw images, and then these are the tiles, the ortho tiles I created. We're going to work in this raw images uh, uh, folder for a few minutes. So, I'm going to make a few, new, a few new folders. I'm going to call this Pass 1, and I'll explain these names in a minute. Pass two. I'm actually going to call this uh, segment. Segment one. Pass two. Oop. Segment one. Pass one. So I'm going to pause the video. Go ahead, and create those folders, and I'll I'll uh, resume the video when I have all those created. All right, guys, so I got these folders created. I actually uh, shortened these names up a little bit. So on this particular uh, stretch of road here that, that, that you can see here, I actually flew that in two segments. It was too, too long to fly in a single segment. So I've got segment one and segment two, and then each of these I have a set of six subfolders, pass one through six. You can see that in both. Oop. And so let me explain what that is. So the way I, I flew this particular batch is uh, the first pass was with the camera uh, directly pointing directly down, so vertical photos at about 150 feet. Pass two was coming back the other way, camera straight down, vertical photos at about double that, about 300 feet. Pass three was at a 45 degree angle, moving. Let's see, it would be uh, was moving westerly westerly direction of travel. Pass four was 45 degree angle moving easterly. So easterly direction of travel. Pass five was with a camera at a 45 degree angle looking at the north side of the road. Pass six was at a 45 degree angle looking at the south side of the road. And I did the same thing for segment two, same exact pattern. Okay. So what we're trying to do with this pattern is, is uh, Get, not only get good coverage for the ortho photos, but also get try and get oblique views in, in all four compass directions. So with both directions of travel and looking at both sides of the road, perpendicular to the road. Okay, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll, we'll drop this down over here in the left-hand pane so that we can see these subfolders. And uh, I'm going to go to my icon view. And we're just going to organize this now. So I want to go through and grab all the images for the first pass. And I just know 
I'm looking at them, that this first set from 12 to 32 was the first pass. So that was the vertical photos at 150 feet. So I'm going to move those. Okay, and then I had this next pass was the vertical photos at 300 feet. And let's see. This is going to be a little harder. So let's open these up. Okay, I can tell that's not vertical, so that's too far. So let's just back these up till we get the vertical. All right. So it looks like the last vertical there was at uh, was image 48. So we'll grab this set. We'll go into pass two. Okay, and then we had the oblique at a four direction of travel. And so I'm just going to flip through these. So this is uh, going west. Oblique's going west. Okay, and I just passed it. So I know that right here is the turnaround point. So my last image for that next pass is 76. And if I had to do this over, I would be writing down those start stops of each pass in my... I'd have some notes and I would write that down. That would be a smarter way to do it. Okay, and then we got the next set of obliques going back the other direction. Okay, so that stops at 96. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so now now I'm going at 45 degrees looking at the north side of the road. So that's the next set. Okay, and so the turnaround point is right here. Okay, so this is the last one. So 123 is the next pass. 97 to 123. Those are the 45 degree obliques looking at the north side of the road. Okay. And then everything else is looking at the south side of the road. So going back to the east, looking at the south side of the road. Okay, and then I had just a couple of uh, uh, photos there. So that's looking uh, west. That's looking east. Those are just to kind of break it up. So I, those are just some markers so I knew when I started my next segment. So these will go in six. Okay. So now we've got these organized. This is the vertical photographs at 150. This is the vertical photographs at, at 300 feet above ground. These are the forward obliques. These are the back obliques. These are the obliques at the north side of the road. These are the obliques at the south side of the road. So we've got all those sorted. Okay, and what we would do then is come in and do the same thing for segment two. So let's start here. It's a little shorter segment, so there aren't as many images. So we're going down now. All right, and then we start coming back. This is the last one on the first pass, so once to 166. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going back the other direction now at a little higher altitude, but the camera's still straight down. Okay, and that runs to 178, so image 167 to 178. All right, then we're going forward, going to west at a 45. Oop. So that's the last one there, 190. Image 190, so 179 to 190. Okay, and then we go back the other direction, 45.
Okay, so it's uh, 207. So 191 to 207. Okay, then we have the 45 obliques on the north side of the road. All right, and that stops there. So that's 221. Yeah, I know I got a little bit lost. That's why this one is a is a vertical. Yeah, let's see when I pick it back up here. Looks like I pick it back up right here. So we got a 225 should be to the end. Okay. Except that one doesn't look right. Yeah, that's not right. There it is there. Okay, so that's our Pass number six. Okay, and then these are just junk shots we can just get rid of. All right, so now we've organized those raw images. Now what I would do, I'm not going to do it in this video, but I will go in and rename these so they're a little more, the, the name is a little more logical. Um, and then we'll have those, those are basically what I consider uh, raw images that have, have been, at least had a, an initial sort or they're, they're they're sorted into an initial group there. So there's different ways to do this, but I wanted to share. Uh, this is a method I've been experimenting with for the organization of those images. And then, uh, you know, if you if you record some uh, metadata or, or put some little, some more data in the in the folder name. So for example, you could do something like this. You could say pass one dash uh, vertical. 150, you could say pass 2, vertical 300, and you could say pass 3, uh, 45 degree west, And pass four is 45 degree east. Pass five, 45 degree north. And pass six is 45 degrees south. All right, cool. We'll do some more with this data set. I'm going to work some more with it. We'll do some more videos. So I appreciate you guys watching.